In this video, we're going to differentiate y is equal to a to the x, where a is any positive constant. So an example of this would be y is equal to 2 to the x, or y is equal to 3 to the x. So if we've got y is equal to a to the x, if we take logarithms of both sides, and we'll take natural logs of both sides, so and remember, natural log is log to the base e, or ln, then ln of y is equal to ln of a to the x. Now, there's a rule of logarithms that says this. Log to the base a of x to the r means we can bring that r down in front of the logarithm and we get r log a of x. So, we've got log ln of y. So, bringing down now this x in front, we can say that x is ln of a. Now, if we rearrange this, we can rearrange it to say that x is 1 over ln of a times ln of y. Just uh, pause the video there if you're not certain about that. Right, now 1 over ln of a is just a number. So, if we now differentiate with respect to y, so here we will now have dx dy, that's going to be equal to the constant, which is 1 over ln of a, times the differential of ln of y. And we just worked out the differential of ln of y is 1 over y. And now if we rewrite that as dy by dx, i.e. by taking the reciprocal, that will become dy by dx is y ln of a. But y, to begin with, was a to the x. So dy by dx will be equal to a to the x ln of a. So here we now have another general rule that says if y is equal to a to the x, it means that dy by dx will be equal to a to the x ln of a. And this is a rule that you can just quote. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to differentiate a to the x where a is any positive constant. And what we should, just before we go, we should just say if we have y is equal to e to the x, then this will become e to the x ln of e. And notice that ln of e is 1, so we get y is equal to e to the x. Okay, I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.